has a game that is so simple and basic at its core absolutely explode onto the Roblox scene in a matter of weeks, finding itself as a top played game just months into its life cycle? What makes it so good? When will it die off? Well, the game at question, of course, is Souls RNG. Released under four months ago on December 12th, 2023, Souls RNG has now catapulted itself into a massive success, with daily concurrent players peaking near the 100,000 mark. But how? It's so simple. What do you even do? Upon entering Souls RNG, you are presented with a very basic setup. A cheap looking grass landscape, a miniature shop, and the roll button. Upon pressing this roll button, you will spin for auras. Obtaining these auras in the game is the main objective, and there are dozens and dozens you can get. For example, the most common aura is common with a 1 in 2 chance, while some of the highest odds such as chromatic are a literal 1 in 99,999,999 chance. So what, you just spin for auras? Well, yeah, and players seem to love it. Besides the roll button, you can walk up to Jake's Workshop, which presents you with a handful of different craftable items, all of which can power you up via luck or speed boost when it comes to rolling. Besides auras, there are chances you spawn in different biomes as well as different weather patterns, all affecting the rates of auras that can and cannot be obtained due to biome boosts. But enough of that. In a nutshell, you keep on on rolling, rolling, rolling until you get the rarest auras possible. You don't really interact with others much at all, you don't even spend the majority of the time looking at your screen, yet the player count has exploded. Why do people play this? I've theorized the three main reasons as to why this game has seen such a huge amount of success in such little time. Starting with the main reason, it's extreme friendliness to free-to-play players. You need to give props to the developers of Souls RNG, as Unlike the vast majority of Roblox games, this one won't break the bank. As a matter of fact, if you buy all the game passes in the game, which there are only two of, they literally only total up 249 Robux or a little over 3 US dollars. You have VIP, which grants a quest reward and walk speed boost, as well as the quick roll button, which allows players to roll faster. I'd be hard pressed to find any other game with similar player counts that don't find tons of Way to monetize their game by including tons of game passes and exclusive items. In a modern gaming world where everything costs money, games have battle passes and items in Roblox can cost hundreds of dollars, Souls RNG has completely refreshed the gaming genre, catering to the majority of players by not requiring them to break the bank to feel like they're capable of succeeding. Considering how much the quick roll game pass boosts the player, allowing for infinitely more aura rolls, the fact that it's only 100 Robux is a testament to the game's reputation as free-to-play friendly. And when you remember that Roblox's most common player base ranges between the ages of 8 to 12, they will definitely be attracted to the free-to-play nature of this game. However, a game cannot just be free-to-play friendly for it to be magically good, right? It needs to be detailed, have tons of depth, and great gameplay mechanics, or does it? Well, depending on who you ask, Souls RNG is not a very deep game feature-wise, nor is it a visual masterpiece by any means. So what else makes it good besides not being a cash grab? A lot of the times when you enter a new Roblox game, it may be a bit confusing on where to start, what exactly to do, and how to progress the fastest way possible. This may leave players quickly discouraged on digging deeper, however with Souls RNG, what makes it so successful is in its simplicity. I mean, you theoretically only have one objective. Objective. Sure, you can collect some luck potions, craft some items at the workshop, but at the end of the day, it's how rare of an aura can you get. There's no tutorial that needs to be read, there are no guides that are necessary to look up. You roll, roll, and roll again. You may find yourself in another biome, find yourself in some rainy weather, whatever it may be, but the objective remains the same. Just keep rolling. But you may think, if you've never played Souls RNG, who would want to do that? 
Why is that fun? Well, I think I've came to a pretty reasonable conclusion as to why this is so popular, considering how simple in reality the game is. I want you to think, what is one of the biggest issues kids seem to have with Roblox games nowadays? Well, they're all pay to win. The quote unquote gambling aspect of Roblox is injected into many popular games nowadays, whether it's opening crates, spinning a wheel, or eggs, many Robux are being washed down the drain in return for items that the purchaser probably isn't satisfied with. Players are accustomed now to being sucked into these feedback loops of hope then disappointment only to realize their Robux are slowly depleting. But that's not the case with Souls RNG. But it kind of is, let me explain. Well, what Souls RNG was able to capture is that one of the main reasons players are coming back is that they are scratching the Robux gambling itch without having to pay a price. I mean, the whole game is literally just free gambling. Each roll for the next ultra rare aura could be equated to opening an egg in pet sim or spinning a wheel in a simulator game. However, when you get a 1 in 10,000 aura, you didn't have to spend $450 to get there like you may have in plenty of other Roblox games. The rush of getting that ultra rare item is the only emotion you receive. There is no downfall. Don't get the rare aura you want, that's fine, you didn't waste any money or time. Huh, time. That's also something worth talking about. The miraculous thing about this game is you spend more time not playing it than you do playing it. Now, how could that be fun? Well, I'll tell you. Because of the nature of Souls RNG being nothing but a free gambling simulator, keyword free, you can literally AFK as a huge part of the game. As long as you use a macro or auto clicker, you can stay in the game AFKing as long as your device you're playing on stays powered on. Even in Souls Discord, they explicitly mention that the auto clickers to remain AFK are allowed, further boosting the reputability of the devs really catering to the players. And remember, if you really want to boost the rolls you get with an auto clicker, auto roll game pass is only 100 robux. While AFKing, you get plenty of in-game currency, potions, and of course, what everyone wants the chance to get, a brand new aura. And although you may not have been there to see it happen, the thrill of checking your screen after hours of AFKing and seeing an ultra rare aura still hits pretty well. The fact that a game has made it fun for thousands to simply not play it is pretty insane in terms of just AFKing it. But because the game is so simple in terms of the end goal of getting something rare, it gets away with players still having fun just AFKing. End goal, let's focus on that for a second. Does the game really have an end goal? I mean, the odds are so astronomically unlikely to get the rarest of all rare items that players may find themselves having the itch to try it over and over again because you never know when luck may strike in your favor. Another factor that adds to player retention is seeing all of the other players around you and what they have. Being able to flex your rarest aura to the players around you not only feels good for the player flexing, but also makes others want to play long enough to get to that point. It really is crazy how a simple game can be on paper, but still have many layers of enjoyment underneath it, causing the player base to come back over and over over again. I'm sure some of you watching this video compete with your friends online and update each other on who has the rarest aura. All of these factors combined make the game not only fun to play alone, but fun to play with friends and play for a long time. And the inclusion of luck potions and special effects that can alter your luck hundreds of percentages higher keep things fresh and different enough for the player to feel as if they're getting variety each time they come back to the game. The game parallels a lot to the same psychological stimulations an adult gets at a casino. They are aiming for the jackpot, keep re-rolling or re-spinning a slot, and get that dopamine rush if or when they hit it. The only difference is, like I previously stated, it doesn't take thousands of dollars to achieve that dopamine hit. Because the game is so set in its ways in terms of the end goal of what a player wants to achieve, this game barely needs updates to carry it as well. 
well. Sure, they can introduce new luck items or rare auras, but at the end of the day, the premise is so simple, players aren't relying on updates to carry it. So what is the future of Souls RNG? It has only been out for about four months, but still gets huge player counts as of the recording of this video. This is where I want you guys to let me know what you think about it in the comments section below, and subscribe for more Roblox documentaries just like this one.